This is my first time trying out shimmer watercolor paints. Let's see if they're as good as they look. In order to test them out, I searched for the most beautiful butterfly in the world to showcase its iridescent wings. I'm gonna show you how to draw and paint it in three easy steps. We're going to start off our butterfly by drawing the wings. So, just very lightly in pencil. I'm just going to draw a V shape here. So this is gonna be the start of the hind wing. So, draw a shape like this, then come back to there. Now we're gonna be drawing the four wings. So we'll just draw it coming round all the way up to the top and then back towards the front. And we'll stop just there. We're then going to draw the little legs. So there's a little leg coming up from here and then the leg kind of is in segments. So to draw a little segment there a little segment here and then a little segment there and then I'm going to add the leaf that it's on just to give it something to be perched on and then we're just going to draw a line coming down from here it's going to go upwards and then downwards to just here now we're going to draw the other side of it so here and then there's another segment here. This is the other segment. And then the little foot part. We're going to be joining these two up. And then we need to add the thorax. So that's just here. And then the head. With a humongous eye. Just there. And then the antenna. So this particular butterfly is called a paradise phantom butterfly or Cytherius phantoma and it's found in the depths of the rainforest. It's a very low flying butterfly. So coming up from here, we're then going to draw a line going all the way up to the top and then round. This one comes down and then we're going to be starting this one here and then just going to draw a line coming all the way up like that. So there are multiple veins, we're just going to draw in a few of them. There's a vein that comes up like this and goes round. Just draw two sides to the vein like this. Another vein comes out from here. And then another vein comes out from here. One coming here, another one here, another one here, another one here, and one there. Now we're going to do the veins on the forewing. So, line coming up like this. Let's draw the other side to it. And these have lots of veins, so we're just going to draw a few of them. And then one just coming down in the centre here. I'm going to add in, you can just about see the other wing on the other side. And then just here, just draw an oval shape. With another oval shape in the middle and a little one in the middle there. We're going to add in the other leg, which just pokes out from behind here. And then the other leg, you can just see a little bit of the other leg just here. This is quite furry here, so I'm gonna add some little furry lines there. I'm now going to swap to pen. So I'm just gonna draw around the bottom part, just following these guidelines that we did before. Where it hits each vein, I'm just doing a very, very ever so slight indentation. Can you see it there? Indentation, 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 indentation. Kind of 
coming in like so. I'm going to do exactly the same on the other wing and I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Now for all the veins, we're just going to go over what we did before, so just follow along. And if I go too quickly at any moment, just hit pause and rewind. I typically, when I do other people's tutorials, I'll watch the whole thing through once and then I'll come back and then I'll pause it in between each different section. And if you feel, you know, this is too hard, just come, you know, just try and complete it. That's the main thing. And actually with the practice, you're practicing your, ha your hand and eye coordination. And even though you don't see that you're getting better, you actually are. Every single time that you draw, you're actually improving that hand eye coordination. So just keep at it. The hardest part is turning up today and putting on the video. You've done the hardest bit, so this is the easy bit. It doesn't matter how it turns out. You know, this is between you and your drawing. And just remember, you are improving every single day. You know, we're not aiming for something to look photorealist. Just like to create a beautiful drawing. I'm just drawing some furry lines in the centre between the legs. I've actually got lots of little hairs in this bit. So these particular butterflies, they're called crepuscular, or crepuscular, sorry, crepuscular butterflies, which means that they appear at dusk and they fly very low along the um, rainforest floor looking for things like rotting palm fruit and things like that to eat. Now we're going to be doing the other leg here. So again, follow what we did before. This part you can just color in black. Okay, once you've gone over it in pen, erase all the pencil markings. So I've erased all the pencil markings. Now for the fun part. I was just given these for my birthday and look at these. These are incredible. They're shimmery watercolors. So I'm gonna be using these. I've never actually used these before, so bear with me. I'm starting off with this dark gold color. So you can just use normal watercolors, anything, just similar colors. Gonna mix it in with a brighter gold. And the legs of this bright gold as well. I really like the feel of these paints. So here I'm watering it down a little bit. I'm going to do all the veins in this darker gold colour. And it doesn't matter if you go over the lines. You, know, you can see I'm going over the lines all over the place. So if you don't have this gold colour, just use a light brown. I'm now going to switch to silver. You can use a grey. Switching to silver down here. Now I'm going to use this amazing lilac y purple colour. I'm mixing the purple colour with some blue. Same here. No, I'm only using blue here.
Now for this incredible turquoise colour. Now for this more lime green. Now for this amazing coppery colour up here. Here I'm leaving some gaps white. Adding a bit more copper. Now a lot more purple, just to blend in between the pink and the blue. A bit more blue here. Just using a clean paintbrush just to wipe away some of the colours that are a little bit too intense. So now that I've finished the butterfly drawing, if you move it, you can see the iridescent shades of the watercolour. It looks beautiful. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then check out this other video here.